it's that buzz from that first time that you're sort of still chasing now. And I still think that you can get that feeling of the first wave. You know, some of my moments this winter, this past winter, just gone. I definitely had that feeling like, well, this is like my first wave. That's what it's about. My first surfing memories are from North Devon. I think I was probably like eight, and my passion was surfing, so of course I wanted to do it as a job, but the reality was is that I just wasn't that good. And competitive surfing just wasn't my thing. Some of my peers from Croyd, the guys I looked up to, and they're all better surfers than me, and me being so much younger than them, they pushed me in those younger years. And that's how I sort of discovered big waves, really. And I realised that I didn't have to go to Hawaii or America or Australia. I can do it in Europe. Nazare has a unique story. There was a period in 2011 where like, there was no one there and it was like big wave Disneyland. And the North Beach you know, has the biggest waves of breaking the world. The ocean's scary when it's flat. Even when it's calm, it's scary. Being in the ocean when it waves really big, really stormy, it's like next level. Nazare is big often. Every swell is like full battle mode. It's a mental challenge. A roller coaster of fear, anxiety, worry, stress. It takes its toll. There's a lot of ocean moving. But I love this. I love being in the ocean when it's just no one else about and it's scary and challenging those fears and, and, I, and I love that. You're punishing yourself a little bit, aren't you? But at the same time, it's all for the good of the end goal. The end goal is to surf the biggest wave ever. In my 20s, I thought that I couldn't get any better. And then I'm only realizing now that actually, if you do all the right things, there's no reason why you can't keep improving. Especially big waves, it's unpredictable. Like, I can't control the, the swells or the wind or tides and whether you're gonna get that wave of your life. You can't control that, you know, but you can control your equipment, your fitness, and all that builds confidence. Being fit, being mobile, being injury free plays into that mindset of being confident and focused and ready. I don't want to do it half-heartedly. I don't want to just dip my toe in. I want to do everything full on to the max. There has to be a limit. You say that and then someone figures out a way to go faster. The science behind waves, like the, the bigger the wave gets, the faster they move. So they get to the point where the wave moves so fast that it's just physically impossible. As a surfer, like in big waves, I could never go fast enough And then the foil comes along and go like three times as fast and I'm not getting all the bumps because I'm like three feet above the water. Being able to just draw lines and waves which just aren't possible on a paddleboard. It's just the ultimate fun. You can just fly over the ocean connecting lumps of energy. Is this how we're gonna ride the biggest wave ever? You know, like, is this where it's gonna go? Really, 
Actually, the end goal is just to be enjoying the ocean and pushing boundaries and having fun. Maybe there'll come a point where I'll just get that wave or have that season where like, I go, right, OK, like I've done everything that I needed to do and, and I've achieved everything that I want to achieve. There's been so many crossroads where you almost give up or almost over it, and then the ocean sort of gives you one of those golden tickets and you, you get the same buzz as your first wave, and you're like, actually, yeah, I love it. You know, I love it.